drug baron and there is a certified court indictment that money was confiscated, money was taken away from him to the tune of 340 million 400,000 naira, to the tune of $460,000. That is already an indictment. Is the man that has first code of conduct before, is the man who bled Lagos to, 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 to nothing, is the man who is using Alpha Beta to destroy the economy of the poor citizens of Lagos State, is the man oh. who has taken over all the properties Center. of government in Lagos State. Even TVC is what used to be the property of Lagos State. His house in Abuja used to be the property of Lagos State. His house in Bodilong used to be the property of Lagos State. That is the man that should be indicted. The man whose wife is supplying the diesel to all government offices in Lagos. The man whose son is in charge of designing this in Lagos Turn State. My people, as it is hot, I say make a drop and APC and PDP won't carry us a catch cruise. Make una conscious APC and PDP they dance naked for market square. Hey, una good morning, good afternoon. Where are they my video from? Make una don't forget to like, follow my channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This one I just see the information, the news, the that is say the agro. We do know they go through for channels. That's my account drop and phone. Make una say these people like, they believe they even call us. What did they say we be? So what did they take us? You know they do for Niger. Then they carry us a catch cruise. Oh. Eh? This so-called, you know, we don't even get shame. We be saying now stomach infrastructure. Now in the warrior. So the voice notes now now sponsored one by APC. I beg eh, these people eh, you, you, you don't too much. See, my guys, eh? I just they tell you now. Make una just shine on I make una know who una go vote for for this 2023. So you understand? Because you see these two political parties, eh, they are presidential candidates, eh, their hand there eh, in no clean at all. Una see, see the kind cry where do you know they cry? So see the kind allegation, see the kind, the kind dirty mud with Sunumbu atrocities where you don't commit. The kind bad track record where you get. Look, make I just drop the rest video. Make una just watch her. This one there, eh, as I say, I'm as they hot with channels. Oh, oh, oh. I make a con drop as well. No, no, just one. Drop your comment with you. Don't forget to follow us and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <laughs> I Bye -bye. mean, a man who has criminal tendencies, a man who is a convicted criminal by the virtue of money that was confiscated over 400, I mean, over 400 and 340 million naira was confiscated in um, Tinubu's account as a drug lord in America. And not only a drug lord, it's even a suspected uh, addict of same, of, of same drug. A man who faced code of conduct for criminal activities. A man who have over a dozen of petitions waiting for him in the FCC and ICPC will accuse a man that have never been invited by either code of conduct, ICPC or EFCC, a man that has been investigated and never been indicted by any court of law or he has never even been prosecuted by any court of law in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So these distractions are not important to us. Instead of them to talk on how they will, uh, they, 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 they will help Nigerians to vote PDP, to ameliorate and palliate the satanic manifestations of APC, to correct the issues of insecurity. They are trying to cover up for the maladministration of APC in eight years by raising unnecessary lies and issues that have no that are completely baseless so honestly we have no reaction to tissues of lies we have no right. reaction to comedy we have no reactions to uh, so-called uh, gestures putting themselves together and eroding the lives of one individual who is a known blackmailer all over this country I mean, okay. you, you, you... So let, let's take these issues quickly, Senator, because the, uh, the purpose of this program is that we need to uh, speak to those who are seeking power. And they, uh, the, the, I mean, it's popular saying that he who comes to equity must come uh, with clean hands. So, I mean, there needs to be some clarity and some um, um, putting uh, uh, answers to some questions that have been raised. So I'd like to ask some very quick questions so that we can get to our destination, which is, if anything of this is true, your candidate or your campaign council might be able to clarify them. First and foremost, and I ask this uh, question to uh, your colleague who was on the program yesterday, Michael Achimogo, is he a known person to Mr. Atiku Abubakar? 
I just answered in my initial response, uh, Shum, and I told you that Kretos Kiyama corroborated the lie of Mike, and that has given us the foundation of where Mike started from. Mike is being sponsored by APC. Mike is being sponsored by Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and that is why they are doing a follow-up to a project they started in Mike. Mike is not a media aide of Atiku Abubakar. The letters he brought online and he produced and which shamelessly, myopically, uh, Festus is referring to are letters from support groups. I can decide in this room to say myself and three other people are setting up a support group, understand, to support Atiku Abubakar. That does not have the mandate of Atiku Abubakar. It is not part of um, uh, our presidential campaign council. And those letters are, were, were written by people that uh, have no any close official administrative tie with Atiku Abubakar. And surprisingly, All right. only in Nigeria will people be reacting to this type of uh, frivolous, unfounded stories. I am telling you as an individual that it was never an aid. Aid, media aid make releases on behalf of Atiku Abu, um, of, their, of their principals. I am talking on behalf of Atiku Abubakar because I have the mandate to do so. Let him show us where is his mandate, where is his letter to speak for Atiku Abubakar at any time. But a man who is a blackmailer, and in this era of technology, where the head of Tinubu can be removed from the picture and uh, you put the head of Shetima, that is in, is in a time like this where there is voiceover. All right, where Senator. You can, you can yeah. use Senator. the voice. So let's, let's get it voice. clear now. Yeah. Let's get it clear, Senator. So what your principal is saying tonight to Nigerians is that he doesn't have any relationship whatsoever, ever, with let Mike Achimogu, and he doesn't let, know him at all. Let me, Is that the statement tell, coming from the, your principal tonight? Let, let me tell you this. Atiku Abubakar is not only the former vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is the most popular Nigerian today on earth. And people meet him on the street on a daily basis. We, were, we, were, we traveled on the street of London. People were stopping him to take pictures with him. So if you see Atiku Abubakar and take a picture with him, or you interacted with him for minutes, then you go out and say you are his close aides, that is not, that is not acceptable. What I am saying in action so, show as an so investigator so to create unnecessary uh, distractions, they know, first of Kayamo said he has gone to court, he has written petitions in his name. They are the ones orchestrating this thing. A man who needs to resign is the man who is not healthy, is a man, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria have said to you, for you to be the president of this country, you must be physically and mentally fit. Tinubu is not physically fit, he's not mentally fit, and he has been indicted of a criminal activity in America where over $460,000 have been confiscated from his account. We have evidence of his criminality, we have evidence of his indictment. What is he still going, doing around saying that he wants to be president? Senator. Instead of them to apologize Senator. to Nigerians. And the man withdraw, you are talking of an innocent Nigerian that is coming to salvage us from the wars and the troubles that APC have taken us through. Senator, so um, you, what I want to establish, and it's taking a long time for us to establish, is whether or not I know somebody, I have a relationship, an acquaintance and friends, family members, relatives. Those are distinct relationships. And so, I mean... And I'm trying to get it clear so that Nigerians have a, an understanding of what the issues are. Is that, is your candidate saying, and I'd like you to quickly just say this so that we can move on to some other issues. Is your candidate saying that he has never had any relationship whatsoever with Michael Achimogo? That is what I am telling you now. That my, my candidates have no personal or administrative relationship with Michael Achimugo. And he is not an aide right. of Since you said that, let's not, move on now. He is to, not an aide yeah. of Atiku Abubakar. These are all orchestrations. Yeah. Everything that have been orchestrated, that have been presented by Michael Achimugo, are fallacies, lies, malicious lies from the pit of hell. And I'm telling you that Nigerians should not be distracted, and China's television should not be distracted, Show Okimba lawyer should not be distracted by this issue of lies. You should confront the APC with their massive failure in Nigeria, in Lagos.
They should confront them with the issues of insecurity, with the issues of hunger, with the issues of kidnapping, with the issues of disunity that they have brought upon Nigeria. This is a strategy to just distract the general public from the issues that are on ground and from diverting the attention of the electorate from the upcoming election. And we should not be distracted about that. Atiku is not going to respond to these tissues of lies. Atiku is busy selling his agenda to Nigerians. He's busy communicating with the electorate. He's busy telling them, I will take you out of the land of Egypt to the promised land of Canaan. He's trying to tell Nigerians that by the grace of God, the issues of power will be solved. The issues of insecurity will be solved. Housing and unemployment will be solved. That I will bring peace back to this land. That is what Atiku is selling to the public. And that is what we want to be concerned about. That is what we want to speak about. Not distractions that so, are yeah. manipulated by the APC to create unnecessary uh, distractions. Senator, I, I can assure you, take this from me. Uh, you've known me for a while now. <clears throat> Channels does not look like an organization that, that is distracted. I don't look like one that is distracted. We are focused. We know our jobs and we will do it. And now, uh, you, were, uh, you were here when we um, interrogated when the issues of uh, the candidate of the APC came up. We confronted the issues and we took it up. Now, this concerns the integrity and the capacity of your candidate and we're asking the questions. And I'd like to go further by asking you tonight again, there are also tapes that have been released allegedly belonging to the children of Mr. Atiku Abubakar. Now you've denied and said that the voice that we heard released by Michael Achimogu is not that of Atiku Abubakar. The ones released allegedly to be those of the children of Mr. Atiku Abubakar. What can you say about those? I don't speak for the children of Atiku Abubakar. I speak for Atiku Abubakar. So you don't know any of his children? And you don't know whether it, those voices sound like th theirs? I speak for Atiku Abubakar, and I'm telling you that a man who has lied about Atiku Abubakar will lie about anything. Now, let me go further, uh, because I know uh, at some point, um, if I'm not mistaken, you were in the House of Representatives when uh, President Olusha Gwambasanjo uh, was in power. Um, uh, and it was crystal clear, um, some of the issues that came up at the time um, uh, the, the, I'm, I'm not sure this is the first time you are hearing the name of the company that has been brought into this uh, conversation and some of the names that have been brought into this uh, particular conversation. If you are denying and saying that all of these things that Michael Achimogu is raising are not true, would you allow this thing to slip? Are you taking any legal action on this? Because if anybody is raising frivolous... Um, uh, allegations against you. You are, uh, you, you are a graduate of law, Senator. Would you allow it to sleep? Anyway, I want to say, Shonda, don't take Panadol for another man's headache. I want, to, I want to assure you that the man who is making these allegations have more than three cases in court already of blackmail. He has a case in court against Alaji Aminu from Kogi State who he blackmailed to collecting money from. He has a case that is popularly on the Facebook and is everywhere on the social media against a woman that he defrauded. So I want to announce to you that either myself as a spokesperson or the PDP as a party, after today, will not react to any question coming from this uh, blackmailer. After today, we will, not, we will not react to it. So I want to tell you categorically so, uh that that we are concerned about the forthcoming election. We are concerned about bringing back the long road reputation of this country. We are concerned about uniting this country. We are concerned about restructuring this country. We are concerned about giving Nigerian community policing. We are concerned about providing jobs for the teeming unemployed youth of this country. We are concerned about the health care status of this country. We are concerned about building a new security architecture that will protect Nigerians and people will go to their houses and sleep. We are concerned about the economy of this country. And this is what the APC do not want us to speak about. And that is why they commissioned this known professional blackmailer to come up with this, and they will now follow up with what they are following up with. Just surprisingly, the petition to EFCC and ICPC was written from the office 
Professor Skeyamo, a serving minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They are so myopic, so porous, so intellectually stagnant that they cannot even portray, understand, in a civilized manner, the cruel career that they are trying to do. We have seen beyond their games, and that is why we are not going to be concerned or respond to this type of frivolous beer parlor issues. Atiku Abubakar, by the grace of the Almighty God, by the popular mandate of Nigerians, will be the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and they should rather advise their candidate to withdraw from the race because he has no competence or capability to be the president of Nigeria. He cannot wear an oversized shoe. In Nigeria today, we cannot have Pablo as our president and then have Osama Biladi as vice president. Where will it end? Where, where will we get to? So by the grace of the Almighty God, we will be focused on our, our, on our campaigns. We will be focused on the problems that are bedeviling this country, the created by the, by, by, by the APC. We do not want, after being the All chapter... Right. Sorry, finally, please. We do not want that now that they have taken us to become the, I mean, poverty capital of the world. We do not want to be the drug capital of the world. No, a drug baron cannot be the All president right. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All right. uh, um, uh, Senator, let's anchor on this question, and quickly, too. I just have about 60 seconds to wrap up this conversation with you. And my, my question, Senator, is that should... Um, Nigerians ask that your candidate come to equity and subject themselves to interrogation or investigation in this respect based on Michael Achimogu's allegations. Because if they are frivolous allegations, there are ways to prove and dispel them. Yeah, under our laws. Now, would your principal be willing and ready to subject himself to the process of law to clear his name and to show Nigerians that he has a clean hands from all of these allegations that he's raised. I'm surprised you're asking this question because Atiku Abubakar is a Democrat, he's a Nigerian. He has always been available for investigations. He has been investigated time and time again, and he has come out very clean with clean, 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 clean uh, I mean, status after investigation. So you do not even need the permission of Atiku Abubakar to investigate him.